No one's gonna check your work. I'm not gonna. I mean, you got the point. He didn't there, okay. Did you solve it already? Mm -hmm. oh. He's stuck? No, I was talking about the one thing. What's that? I was talking about the one thing. Oh, you just said that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Oh, no, you need help with me now. Let's let you guys work on it. You guys are doing great. I'm looking at your hair decks. Not a lot of you have written the answers yet. That's okay. Let's take time. Alrighty. Very good, Jada. Very good, Alexis Romero. Aaron, we're solving for the angles, not the area. Ooh, 
may be having more trouble than what I'm ex than I thought. I'm not seeing many correct answers. Alex said to get kicked out of the call. Alex is kicked out of the call. Did you come back yet, Alex? Oh, there you are. Are you back, Alex? Okay, I'll mark you here. I thought you were absent. You're good. I'm looking for answers up to see. Christian, how are you doing over there? I'm having a hard time finding your answer. Are you okay? Christian Cervantes? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you stuck or you just need more time? Uh, I just need a bit more time. Okay. How about you, Noah? No, I'm going to write it down right now, actually. All right, so you just need more time. How about you, Laura? Um, I'm working on my paper right now. Are you logged into the Pear Deck? Yeah. I don't see your name here. You sure? Oh, there yeah. you are. I see yeah. I found you. Never mind, it's my bad. I'm a terrible teacher. Look away, Laura. Laura, look away. Don't look at me. I'm such a terrible teacher. Oh my gosh. Daniel Reyes, how are you doing in there? Are you in there, Daniel? Yeah. Dude, I'm trying to see what you got. Ah, okay. Are you stuck, man? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Can I help you with anything? Ask me a question. Daniel, ask me a question. Daniel. Yeah. Go and ask me a question. You said you need help. Well. You want me to ask a question to help you? Daniel. We're having a conversation. Are you not talking to me? What's going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm talking to you. You don't say anything. Hello? Yeah. Well, how come you're just saying, okay, listen, we're talking and you're saying, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you participate in this conversation? Okay. Well, I just need help finding the angle. Okay. Do you know? That's much better. Do you know what are you using? Law of sines or law of cosines? Can you repeat that? What do you need help? What are you going to use? The law of sines or law of cosines? Cosine? Yeah, very good. Do you know the law of cosines? Um, adjacent or hypotenuse? No! Wait. Which angle are you solving for? Which one do you want? Give me, tell me which one. Any one. Pick one. B. B. Okay, so it's, look, it's B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine big B. No? Does that sound familiar or not? Yeah, it sounds pretty familiar. Have I shown this to you? I don't know. I can't remember if I've shown this to you guys or not. I think you have.
Wait, does this look like a triangle kind of? Looking at backwards. Does it look like it has E here? Does it come the right way? Yeah. It is? Okay. A27. Okay, I'll do one last look, see how you guys are doing. Did you finish it, Estrella? We're having a hard time today. What is it? You know, some teachers just they think today and they just did more. That's rude. That's not done. teaching. Huh? That's not teaching. It'd be funner. Funner than doing this crap, huh, Estrella? What are you supposed to be doing? What are we doing, Estrella? <gasps> That's hard. Oh, wait, wait. Asynchronized teaching. It's not a right triangle, is it? No, the block cosine. Oh, what the? What a great one. It is. That's what I'm telling you. I could have been async and then doing this crap. Does it matter which one's A and which one's B? Oh, you're doing block sine. No. Block cosine? Oh, wait, I see. Can I try it? How are you doing? Yeah, the class is watching. Actually, Your floor is dirty. That's what happens when you have. I don't think they document anything. Okay, right? let's see. Um, so you're doing A squared plus you look at So you did 720. No. Yeah, so that's B squared. Oh, so 27 squared is 729, right? What's your equals? But you have A. You have all sides. So let's see what Ms. Howard does. So she have a, okay, Miss Howells is solving. I'm gonna do the play by play. So right, she picked A, B, and C. Right. Did that. This is B, right? Yeah. That's yeah. a little B, and then that's a little A, right? Yes. And then that's a little C. Down there you there. go. See that? See what she's doing? And then I'm just plugging them in to what you have written up there. So I, my little B was 27. So I replaced B with 27. Yeah. And I replaced A with 12. And then what was C again? 20. Danielle. Yeah. Can you see what Miss Howells is doing? Yeah. Okay. Look at some of your answers while she's doing this. So she's just plugging in the numbers. Cosine. And then we don't know what B, big B is. You right? know what? Very good. You are solving for the big B. The big B. Because we have it set equal to B, that means we solve for angle B, right? Oh, okay. there she set it up. Okay, so I want to be her. I want to be her calculator. That's twenty-seven squared. I got you. Seven hundred twenty-nine is twenty-seven squared. Twelve squared is one forty-four. Twenty squared is four hundred. Two times twelve times twenty-four. Four eighty. Right. Yeah. That's mental math right there. Yeah. I did that in my head. That's special. I did all three of those. Two times twelve times twenty is four eighty. Wow. Okay. You can count cards probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these two. Okay, yes. So order of operations we can add those add since right they're there. separated. Five forty four. Five forty four. Minus four hundred and eighty times cosine of B. Yep. So I can't add, I can't subtract those because that's attached to cosine, right? Exactly. She's a hundred percent right. So how do, what is she gonna do next? Um let's go with let's see who doesn't. Uh Javier, what's help this house out? What's she gonna do next? Uh, Javier. I don't quite know actually. So we have to get that big B by itself, right? That's what we're solving for, big B. So we have to get rid of everything else. I have to get rid of the 480, I have to get rid of the 544, and then eventually I'll have to get rid of that cosine. So being as the 480 and the cosine are attached to B, I want to save those for last. So I want to get rid of the 544 first. So how do I get rid of the 544? Wait, before you answer that, Javier, do you know how to solve this, Javier? Yeah. Okay, so Andrew, does that, can you see the connection between the two? You know what Ms. Howell said? 
kind of. Javier, if you're going to solve this, what would you? How would you solve this? What would you... I would try to get a two x by itself. So what would you do? Subtract four and then from both sides. So yeah, so what Ms. Howell was saying is which one would be the four, right? This is the eight, this is the four, this is the two, this is the X. So what would you do? What Ms. Howell said. Sorry. Subtract five forty five hundred forty four from both sides. Oh, sorry. My job. Mr. Are you with us? Is this making sense? Yeah. So then now that you just cancel, right? Gone. I ran out of room. Can I go down here? Yes. Okay. Uh, my fault. Sir. 729 minus 544. Oh, sorry. 185. 185. And then what's left? The negative 480 times cosine of big B. You want to pass on what you do next? Sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can't are very good. Oh, Aaliyah. Very good, Aaliyah. You got him right. All right, uh, Eduardo, what does Ms. Howell do next? Hmm. What was it there? Eduardo, did I wake you up? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, uh... That's cool. What do I do next? What does Ms. Howell do next? She's confused. She doesn't know what to do. What's that dot mean? Ooh, just, just multiply. That dot means multiplication. So how do I get rid of the negative 480 if it's currently being multiplied by cosine B? Um, currently being multiplied. So how do I get rid of it? What's the opposite? You want to add 480 to it. Right? Not add, because this is, see how it's being multiplied? Right? Like if you had... Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. Javier, solve this one, and then we'll talk to Ms. Howell. Solve this one. How do you do that? Would you add two to both sides? Uh, yes. No, oh, no. How, solve it. Eduardo, what would you do? Oh, you would uh, you would divide to it, right? Exactly. Divide by what? Divide by. Oh, divide by two. Negative two. No, negative two. All right. So now, same thing over here, right? This is a negative four eighty that's being multiplied by this. So how do I get rid of the negative four eighty? Uh, you would divide. Yeah. By, by what? Oh, negative 480. Okay. So we got negative 0 0.385. Oh, this is? Negative, wait, negative. negative. 0.3854. That's ugly. And then cosine B? Yeah. Cosine a big B. Look at that. So, man, this is like. You guys are watching phenomenal. Look at a nice penmanship. What a treat. Okay. Let's go with uh, Connor. What do I do next? Connor, all your answers are correct, by the way. Cool. Um, take the, I forgot what it's called, but the opposite cosine, like the, oh. with the negative one, yeah, of negative 0 0.3854. Okay, and I punch that in for Ms. Powell right now. Is this making sense to you? Yeah. You sure? Are you saying that? Yeah, but I'm solving for What's that? I'm solving for A. Oh, you're solving for A? Yeah. Can, can I see that? Or is that too low? Where's your camera? I can see it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we got B is equal to 112.67 degrees. That's a big number. 112. Point Six, seven degrees. Boom. So let's look at the steps real quick, right? Just plug them in, no problem at all. Square. Hey, let's hear from Miss Howells, everyone. Oh, everyone, wait. 
Turn off your microphone, turn your microphones on, and clap for Miss Howells. Yes. Did you do all that? That was awesome. Thank you, Miss Howells. That's good. Anyway, what do we do? Miss Howells plugged in A, B, and C, A, B, and C, squared, 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 added, right? Then subtracted, boom, then divided, boom, then inverse cosine. Happy face. All right. Raise your hand if that makes sense. Okay. Cool. Should I do A? Should I do A? Raise your hand if you'd like me to do A. Let me show you the answers. Guess what? This is what I'm going to do. Because we have 20 minutes left. Because that's pretty much it. Um, let's take a look at what the answers are. Actually, let's look at what you guys got. We'll look at the answers, and then I'll let you guys go. And if you want me to do A, you can stay. If you want me to do A, you can stay. Okay, here we go. 24.21, 112.67, 43 That is correct. Uh, 27, wait, is it 27 or 24? I think it's 24. 24.21. So I don't know. Um... 39.61. This one's a little off. And then when you find the third angle, this is all correct. Oh, we got the area too. Very good. 34.2, 112. Whoa, what's that? Freaking me out. Okay. I think it's 24.2. 24.2, I believe. It shouldn't be off by a couple of degrees. You should have at least 24.2, 43.1, 112.7. Anyway, that's it. 24.2. Let's look at the answer. 24.2, 112.7. Okay. That's it. If you want me to do A, I will. Otherwise, I'll let you guys study. I think some of you get it. Some of you are like, I got this. Some of you might need help. If you need help, you can stay. Otherwise, I love you guys. Test tomorrow. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. I'll tell Miss Howells you said bye. Bye, Nicander. Bye, Lily. Bye, Christian. Bye, Javier. Bye, Kyle. Bye, Navid. Bye, Catherine. Bye, Kimberly Cedillo Plata. All right. You know, Kenji, you want me to do A? Kenji, Aaron, Aaron, uh, Mr. Yep. Mr. Sanchez, what's up, Aaron? I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. Like, wait, well, I am, but like only for like the first five, ten minutes, because I have to go to a meet. Okay. Well, I can give you the code for the test, and then you can take it after the meet. Would that work? Yeah. All right. But cool. I'll take it like um like when I get home from the meet. Probably well, at like until, you have until midnight. Wait, what? I mean you could you have until midnight. I mean I'd rather take it right away, but since you have the meet, I'll give you till midnight. Is that cool? Would that be enough time or do you need to do it on the weekend or Monday? That's fine. I can take it on a Friday. Okay, cool. So I'll okay. you when you get here. Okay, bye. Wait, what are you doing? What do you, what is what is your meet? Oh. Track? Poker track. Nice. Do you practice yeah. here? Yeah. Oh. At four. Nice. You should come to school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, do your other teachers come? What? Are your other teachers here or am I the only one? Um my PE teacher comes. Um, oh. my, I don't think my English teacher comes. Okay. Anyway, whatever. At least no, you're um, coming yeah. to something. I'm glad you're coming to something with track. What do you do in track? 
Hurdles and jumps. Dang, hurdles are so hard. Not hard. really. Well, huh? well, they're hard at first, but then once you get used to it, then not really. You can smash into one of them. Yeah. And then what if you're, have you ever done that? Crashed into a hurdle? Yeah. Does it hurt? I bet it hurts. Mm, yeah, but I'm like used to it at this point. Is that why they call them hurdles? Because they hurt? Yeah, I guess. Oh, that, that was dumb. I said a dumb, I said a dad joke. That's terrible. Anyway. All right, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just staying okay. I enjoy talking to you. Bye. Right. Have a good day. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Get on my recording. Do you want me to do A? Sorry, I'm trying to do